Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a boil test using this World Stove pup stove, and I had said that I would show what was left over from the 100 grams of uh, wood pellets that I used in this test. I had it pointed out to me that I forgot to do that, so I thought I'd do that today. Colorado Camper had made a comment where he said, uh, how long will a pup stove burn on 100 grams of pellets? This is 100 grams of wood pellets. This burned, in the second burn test anyway, burned for about 30 minutes. Now when I say burned, I mean that's when that's where flames were coming out. It lasted longer than that with just embers in here, glowing embers. So that I just kind of let it set by the side and burn out. But flames lasted for at least 30 minutes on 100 grams of wood pellets. Now what was left from that was 29 grams of unburned pellets and a mixture of unburned pellets, a little bit of ash, and charcoal. I separated the stuff out. Now this was, it just, I just let it burn out on its own. I didn't put it out. But there was 14.1 grams of unburned pellets. These were down at the very bottom. Separated that out. And also, there was 15.3 grams of charcoal and a little, little, little bit of ash. I tried weighing it, didn't even get like a half a gram or anything, so I just left it all together. But this is charcoal. Now what this stove does, this is a, a wood gas, well, we, what we call a wood gas, but scientifically is called a pyrolytic multi-fuel stove. This will use any kind of biofuel like uh, peanut shells, acorns, anything dry. But instead of burning it, what it does is it heats it up. The pyrolytic means that instead of burning the fuel and returning a whole lot of carbon dioxide and carbon to the atmosphere, it converts the fuel into a like a combustible gas into gas and it burns that leaving charcoal behind now what I can do with this charcoal is I can I could even burn this later this is charcoal just like what you'd use on a charcoal grill but what I've been doing is I dump this in my garden and it acts like a fertilizer and it also ties up carbon that would otherwise be put into the atmosphere and that's where we're having all this greenhouse gas problems with. So this is a great way to, if I just dump this in the garden and bury it, it's a great way to do my part on being green. So that's what came out. 29.3 grams, 14 grams, 14.1 grams of unburned, and 15.3 grams of charcoal. So if I subtract this 14.1 grams from the 100 grams of the wood pellets to start with, that leaves me with 85.9 grams that turned into 15.4 grams of charcoal. All the rest of it was gas. Kind of cool. Kind of neat, I should say. What I'm going to do on one of my next tests is instead of using the wood pellets, which I think there's a problem with whichever is the uh, this leaves a lo whole lot of soot on the pot which could be part of the gases too but wood pellets seem to give off a lot of soot I did some checking into wood stoves and it seems you have to clean them just about every day so what I want to do is go on to something else these are aspen yeah aspen this is bedding like what you'd use for your rabbits or whatever. This is 100 grams. You notice quite a bit of difference here. 100 grams, 100 grams.
do it side by side. I mean, this is stuffed full, so is that. Uh, <clears throat> same, same weight, much different volume. Anyway, I'm going to try using this in the pup stove and see what happens. I've been asked to, uh, you know, use some of those piles of chips like what you see along the road when they do bush cleaning and stuff. Can't find anything that's dry around here, so I still have this that I used before on my wood burning stoves. So this will be coming up. Oh, I had also been asked for a little more detail as to what this pup stove does. It's a wood burning gas or wood gas stove, just like what we've been playing with. I showed you much earlier on some of the uh, simple gas stoves that I was playing with using paint cans and soup cans. This basically has two parts, an outside shell which has holes along the bottom that lets air come in. The inner part, I hope you can see this in this light, has a ring of holes here, ring of holes here, small holes at an angle, and then a larger, let me take this, this thing is form fitted to it now since it's been heated up. Anyway, then there's a larger ring of holes here. So when this slides into the outside casing, it heats up, heats up the air between this and the outside casing. So when you heat up air, it rises. When it rises, it goes into here, in the taller holes, while sucking out the heated gases from the bottom, which brings it back up into these holes. So it's just a circulating type thing. Gas, the wood chips are heated up from the top, giving off gases. They get sucked down through these bottom holes and then sucked back in through the top and get burned off. Pretty interesting. Anyway, I know that's a simple explanation of it, but I hope it helps anybody that's curious about that. So that's what happened. Sorry I didn't include it in the other video, but I was in a hurry. It was getting dark and I was in a hurry. So I thank you for watching. I thank Nate for sending me these from World Stove. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.